Epsom salts is the common name for magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. It has the following formula. So we have magnesium sulfate, and then to indicate that the water is bound loosely to the magnesium sulfate crystals, we put a dot here and seven water. So we call this compound a hydrate. I'll now pour some of the magnesium sulfate into a beaker. We'll add a fair bit to it. And then we'll add some hot water to the salt. Solid here. And we'll then put it on a ring stand and heat it up using an alcohol burner. So what I want to do is to dissolve the magnesium sulfate to form a saturated solution at an elevated temperature. As long as the solution is able to dissolve more of the solute, we call that an unsaturated solution. When it no longer can dissolve the solute, we call it saturated. So it's almost dissolved, so add a bit more to it yet. I'm using the alcohol burner to keep the solution hot. Once the magnesium sulfate has dissolved and still a little bit behind in the bottom, we have then a saturated solution at the elevated temperature. So now we'll take this down and we'll transfer a small amount of the solution to a slide. Now we have a drop of the saturated magnesium sulfate solution on the slide against a dark background and now notice the formation of crystals in the solution. So we have a super saturated solution as it cools and eventually then crystals begin to form until the whole mass solidifies. Note the crystal being formed in this region here and here, some long ones here. Here is now my solution of magnesium sulfate that I had prepared earlier. This has been allowed to cool and you can see it's become a solid mass of crystals of magnesium sulfate. And if I swirl that a little bit, we can loosen it up and feel the crystals of magnesium sulfate in here. So we had a supersaturated solution as the solution cooled, 
and because it contained more magnesium sulfate than it's capable of holding at room temperature, it began to crystallize. And so what we have are then crystals of magnesium sulfate. These are rather fine crystals because the crystals form rather rapidly. If you do the crystallization very slowly, then you can get nice large crystals. And you can do this with many different sol uh, solids. You can uh, form some beautiful crystals through the process of crystallization.